Hey everyone. So with Docker, it's pretty easy to get out of control when it comes to spinning up new containers. Um, I've easily found myself with, say, uh, at least 15 containers running at any given time, uh, which is definitely not what I had intended. Um, but since it's so easy to spin these things up, um, you could definitely lose track of them. Um, so if I ran, I do have Docker running on my Mac, Docker for Mac, so Docker PS or even Docker PS hyphen A for all. Um, I do have a few containers running or or in the in uh, queued up or whatever it may be. Um, so when it comes to cleaning up and removing these containers, um, you could you could go ahead and type in each one of these container IDs or container names manually to remove them, um, but I'm lazy and that take that could take a lot of time, uh, especially if I'm doing a lot of de uh, debugging and troubleshooting where I am constantly spinning up containers. Um, what I could actually do is I could do a shortcut command. And if you've been keeping up with my videos, you'll see that I, I used a similar shortcut command when cleaning up Docker untagged images, so dangling images. Uh, but let's let's this time uh, do it for uh, uh, containers that we no longer want anymore. So what we can actually say is we can say Docker, and we can say either stop or rm hyphen f for force stop, and we can use the dollar sign Docker ps hyphen a for all, and then q which um, I. I believe they're, I don't think they're calling it Q for quiet, but what it actually does is it'll get the, the container ID for you and not the rest of the columns. Um, so by running this, it'll get each container ID, pass it into the, the remove command, and then at this point in time, it should, it should be good at that point. So let's try it. So it just stopped all of those container IDs and it removed them. So if I type in docker ps hyphen a, uh, well, there's no more containers there. So it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Now, you may not want to do it when you have just a few containers like I did, maybe four, maybe even less than that. But if you if you find yourself having excessive amounts of containers and you just need to bring them all down, um, go ahead and try this command. It's very convenient, especially when you're when you're when you're learning Docker or uh, doing a lot of troubleshooting. 